Greetings everybody and welcome! It has been a while since my last video with this game, Plane Mechanic Simulator, or PMS. Well, it doesn't sound right that way, but anyway, since last time we have been promoted to leading aircraft man, and now we get to do some work on the legendary Spitfire. In this game it is the Mark 1, with the Merlin engine, and previously I've been working on the Tiger Moth, the trainer, and I've got to <laughs> mess around with machine guns and stuff. Time limits on, expert mode, let's keep it off for now. Hints as well. And the Mosquito is going to be up next. In the last update, the Wellington Bomber was added. The last update was at the end of October last year. And since then there haven't been much news on when the next update is going to be, or what it's going to be about. But the Facebook page of this uh, game is fairly active, so I don't think it's completely abandoned. And I also heard that a new development team took over. Although I'm not sure if it's the case. Yeah, in the last update the UI got reworked completely. And also a couple of minor bug fixes. Pilot note. Bad news, shut down, bailed out, and now we have to prepare a completely new aircraft for tomorrow. Refuel stuff, set up the radio, and harmonize machine guns. Nice. So yeah, new UI. Actually I also have been reading uh, Steam reviews of this game. It's got uh, mixed reviews. But actually I quite like this game. I think it's uh, great. Some people find it boring. I can understand why. It's not a game about uh, explosions and shooting down stuff and adrenaline filled uh, action. But for an hour or two fixing up a couple of planes, it's, it's actually a really enjoyable game, I think. So let's start with the radio, TR9. Alright. We need to find the transmitter frequency. We have power, so the battery is working. And there it is. We have to find the frequency where the needle is pointing to the right. And leave it there. And the game takes us automatically to the next step. Alright, frequency first. We need to find a frequency where we can hear some chatter. Something like that. And uh, we are looking for a Morse code. Where the signal is the strongest. That's it. And find mouse movements. Yep, we'll leave it there. And radio is done. Okay, close it back down. Let's do the refilling and refueling. We need to get rid of the uh, fuel truck in order to be able to harmonize the machine guns. Alright, let's do the oil first. Yep, yeah, that's the access door. Open it up. And also up there is the coolant access. We cannot really access it from down here. Maybe I need to need a ladder. But I can also climb on the wings. So, I hope in the next updates they are going to add some uh, maybe US Warbirds or German, that would be great. Or maybe a DLC, I talked about it last time. It's a $10 game and for that it's actually great, I think. Also it's fairly regularly on sale, so mostly 65% off. So for that price it's actually a, a really, really great value in my opinion. 
Yeah, there are also valid criticism on some of those reviews. For example, the approach of the game could be a little bit more problem solving, but you kind of have that in a couple of do a couple of missions. It does get a little bit repetitive. But yeah, it's not something that uh, you can play for hours and hours, and not something I can play for hours. Just when I get my coffee or tea, morning coffee, tea or afternoon coffee, then I fix up a couple of planes and then move on and come back the next day or next week. It does appeal to a specific type of person, not just gamers, I <laughs> read that a couple of older guys in their 60s and 70s are playing this game and also enjoying it a lot. And you have to completely fill up the coolant. Probably one of these barrels are not going to be enough. So, and also what would be nice is, uh, for example, working on an aircraft carrier, <laughs> fixing up the swordfish. A little bit of change of scenery. And what I also miss from this game, and that could be a little bit uh, difficult to implement, is we don't really, we can't really test out the consequence of our actions here. For example, we cannot really start the engine or test out the machine guns. That would be great if we can uh, do a little bit of uh, engine testing, start it up and see how our work is, uh, um, how well we did. Also a little bit of performance testing. Obviously, it would be quite uh, impossible to do a whole <laughs> flight sim around this game. But it would be great if we can start up the engine and see how it all works together. Wow, <laughs> weather cleared up quite rapidly. And go get them, boys. So, oil and coolant are filled up. Get rid of this ladder. And now refuel. We also need to <laughs> close down that uh, coolant access door. <laughs> Get up on the wing and... That's it. Yeah, that's where the fuel goes in. And quickly fill it up. So it would be great to do the engine testing but it's a fairly small development team and there are also many many things I think they are trying to do in the next updates yeah the game is still in early access so harmonization board unit number 514A should be installed yeah there it is now we need to get rid of these gun port patches Well, not there. Yeah, sometimes the interface is a little bit of finicky. And that's the gun camera. And now we have to lift the tail. So the machine guns are looking at the harmonization board. And a little bit of frame rate drops. <laughs> this being a Unity game, not the best optimized. So let's open up these doors, start with the right wing, breach cover and a nice browning tree or trees.
people have that ammo belt. No. All right, now we can go ahead and start the harmonization. Harmonization. Nice. So on the upper left, it tells us that we need to be looking with this machine gun at the red target, and that's it. We have to do all these steps on the all of those machine guns. But for now, we don't really need to refill the ammo as well. So, fine movements. Come on. I'm not really looking 100% at the circle. Yeah, that's it. Now onto the yellow, and next is the green. This, that's it for the right wing. And then move on to the left wing. And next time I'm probably going to look for a mission when I'm doing a video with this game. When uh, working on the Spitfire, when, where we can completely need to take apart the engine. This is quite an improvement over the engine of the Tiger Moth trainer. That was fairly simple compared to this Royce Royce Merlin engine. It's a beauty. So maybe next time we get a mission or a task where we need to kind of uh, check the engine completely. And that's it for the right wing. And on to the left. Yeah, like I said, it can get a little bit boring and repetitive, but uh, I like it a lot. Tinkering on these legendary warbirds is quite fun. And also learning in the process how it all worked. Also one of the great things about this game. Kind of seeing how it all <laughs> works together. And starting with the red. Sometimes the missions when we are doing the campaign are also similar. For example, reloading the machine guns comes up quite often. So, two more to go. And maybe next time <laughs> to play Cliffs of Dover, where we get to fly around and do some action with these planes. It would be also nice to combine the two games, but uh, yeah, not going to happen. And we are done. Now we need to close everything down. Get back those ammo belts. Oops. Bridge covered down. Yeah, <laughs> interface sometimes. And close everything down. And did I do it? Yeah, I thought I forgot to put in the ammo belt there. So all we need to do is close these guys down. I'm also going to reinstall the gun port patches, although we don't really need to do that. I'm gonna just uh, quickly do it. Yeah. 
Fantastic. All right, let's get rid of the <laughs> jack or lift <laughs> or whatever the hell it's called. And we are done. Let's see. Refuel, refill, set up radio. Sign for our boat. Nice, we also probably been promoted. Yeah, 1500. Merit points. Nice, now we get to upgrade some stuff. Senior aircraft man. We have three skill points. Yeah. Can also hire one more assistant. So we don't need to spend that much time with the screws and bolts. And good connections. Yeah, that does sound. Sometimes the timed missions can be a little bit uh, <laughs> stressful or difficult. And let's get another assistant. System special specialization. And confirm. Alright. Yep, yeah, this is going to be the next mission. Gunport patches, refuel, rearm machine guns, gun camera tape. Probably not going to do it for a video. But I'm going to do one where we get to take apart the engine. So that's it. With our lovely Spitfire. So, in the meantime, I wish everybody all the best and see you in the next video.